they're released. Also tonight, it's the last corridor in Portland without solid public transportation. Tonight, uh, Southwest Portlanders hear proposals for transit expansion that could include a new max rail line. We wanted to know more. We sent Andrew Dimbert to find out details on these future plans. Plans for more public transit in Southwest Portland has been in the works for years now. The question is, will it be some type of express bus system or a new light rail connection? Oregon Metro is pushing for trains. They presented that recommendation to the public. A plan to build more transportation to Southwest Portland is on track. I think I prefer a, a light rail just because it, you know, avoids the traffic of all the other cars. Either a light rail or high volume bus service is coming to an area starved for public transportation. This is, by some people's estimation, the last major corridor in a regional network of, of major transit corridors that is yet unfinished. But there are a few bumps in the road ahead. The light rail option is the preferred recommendation by Oregon Metro, but then there's the concern about a potential tunnel to serve Portland Community College. Whichever mode we select, whether we have a tunnel or not, we're adding real opportunities and choices to people throughout Southwest and the communities beyond. City officials and Oregon Metro say the tunnel option isn't cost effective and would limit how far south a light rail could go. Instead, they want a light rail running along Barber Boulevard. I'm really interested in what happens. I'm glad to see the recommendation for light rail to come along, but I, uh, I'm very concerned about them taking a lane out of Barber Boulevard. A committee made up of various elected officials will make a final decision on May 9th. The reason that a light rail seems to be the leading choice right now is because research shows an extended bus system could reach capacity as early as 2035. If that plan does go forward, Tigard and Tualatin would still have to hold a public vote first. Andrew Dimbert, Coin 6 News. And like Andrew